he shipped the bone fragments that fell out to Mary Schweitzer. So the first piece I pulled out, I picked it up and I looked at it and I said, it's a girl and it's pregnant. That's the first time, as I understand it, that anyone had ever been able to identify gender dinosaur. in any dinosaur. Yes. Mary recognized a specific type of bone called medullary bone, which female birds produce when they're about to lay eggs. No one had ever found it before in a dinosaur. And she calls up and says, we have Medi medullary bone. Oh, now this had to be thrilling. Yes, very exciting. And that wasn't all. What happened next happened by mistake. Mary put some fragments of the bone in acid to dissolve away the outermost layer of mineral. But the acid worked too fast and all the mineral dissolved away. Being a fossil, there should have been nothing left. But there was, and it was elastic, like living tissue. This is the teeth. <gasps> no. She showed us video she took under the microscope. That's really what happened? Yes. That's the dinosaur yes. bone? Without mineral now. That's what was left. It looked like the soft tissue she would have expected to find if it had been modern bone. This was impossible. This bone was 68 million years old. So you see this and you think, what? You say, I didn't you want to tell it. anybody. <laughs> then you'd be ridiculed, yes. right? And so I, I said to my technician, okay, do it again. I don't believe it. And yet, in sample after sample, they were there. Things that looked suspiciously like flexible, transparent blood vessels. She finally mustered the courage to tell Jack. She said she dissolved the bone away and there were blood vessels. And, you know, I was like, shocked. How really? could that be? How could that be? That's right. The things Mary was finding inside dinosaur bones. Look at that. Blood vessels and even what seemed to be intact cells pose a radical challenge to the existing rules of science, that organic material can't possibly survive even a million years, let alone 68 million. Mary, Jack, and their team published their B-Rex findings in a series of papers in the journal Science and were promptly attacked. Critics said their samples might have been contaminated or that the supposed blood vessels were actually something called biofilm, a type of slime. But as Mary showed us, she's been able to replicate her findings. These are pieces of an even older dinosaur, a well-preserved 80 million year old duckbill. When she dissolved it away in acid... Let's put this under the scope here. Well, look. Is that a blood vessel? This is a blood vessel. Yeah, you see the branches right there? And look at all of them. And it's so consistent over and over and over again. We do this bone and it comes out and I get excited every time. I can't help it. I mean... 80 million years old. Mary published her new results last spring, and while some of her critics have been swayed, the controversy still rages, and the stakes are high. If blood vessels can survive 80 million years, what about DNA? Inside those channels where the blood vessels would have run were these little round red structures that were all kind of lined up like a, like a train, and they were bright red and translucent, Nobody else had seen anything like that before. The very idea of blood cells in a 70 million year old bone was more than unconventional. It was radical. Derek Briggs is curator of invertebrate paleontology at the Peabody Museum at Yale University. What was your initial reaction to that? Oh, I think the same reaction as everybody's, that this was... Uh totally improbable. She perhaps misinterpreted the evidence or was exaggerating the potential for what she was seeing. Has anybody else that you know of found similar things inside a bone? No. Why do you think it didn't occur to anybody? The laws of chemistry and biology and everything else that we know say that it should be gone. 70 million years old, you don't expect to find soft tissue, do you? Not at all. No. It, it was utterly shocking. Um, like I said, a lot of our science doesn't allow for this. All of the chemistry and all of the molecular breakdown experiments that we've done don't allow for this. So if this material turns out to be actual remnants of the dinosaur, then yes, I think we will have to do some, um, certainly rethinking of some of the basics of the model of fossilization. You know, well, Mary, Mary, when I was reading about this story, I was amazed that in some of the capillaries, when you went to, to pull them, they snapped right back. Are you amazed at the quality of these remains? Absolutely. 70 million I, years old, huh? 
it, it just doesn't seem possible. But yes, you can actually take the vessels, and they, they do have internal components, and so you can take a probe and kind of squeeze those things out into solution, and, and the, the vessels are fine. It's just, I, I can't explain it, to be honest. Pose a radical challenge to the existing rules of science. Totally improbable. Can't possibly survive even a million years. Then you'd be ridiculed, yes. right? Why do you think it didn't occur to anybody? The laws of chemistry and biology and everything else that we know say that it should be gone. And it's so consistent over and over and over.